The Raspberry Pi Sense Hat is a small board that you install to the 40-pin GPIO port on most any Raspberry Pi and adds a number of sensors such as a gyroscope, an accelerometer, magnetometer, temperature, barometric pressure, humidity, and more. It also includes a large 8x8 LED display with a small joystick. In today's video, we'll check it out with the Raspberry Pi 5, create some example programs, and see what it can do. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. The Raspberry Pi Sense Hat, which stands for Hardware Attached on Top, is basically an add-on board that connects to the 40-pin header on the Raspberry Pi. It was introduced back in 2014, and it made it easier to add new hardware features without messing with a bunch of wires. The Pi Sense Hat will work with any Pi with a 40-pin GPIO header. I've had this board for some time, but never tried it out until now, and it's pretty amazing. The Sense Hat, which was created for the Astro Pi project, actually went up to the International Space Station so students could write code that interacted with sensors in space, like measuring temperature, humidity, or orientation. That project showed how powerful and educational these little boards can be. The board has an 8x8 RGB LED matrix, which can be programmed to display scrolling text, animations, and in different colors. There is even a five button joystick. That is, the stick moves up, down, left, and right, and you can also press down on the stick for the fifth button. It has a gyroscope, accelerometer, and magnetometer for determining tilt, movement, rotation, and act as a digital compass. When all the sensors are combined, it provides a nine axis orientation system. There is a sensor for reading barometric pressure as well as temperature and humidity. Installing the Sense Hat to your Pi is really very simple. The only electrical connection to be made is the GPIO connector. It does include these plastic standoffs and screws, which I highly recommend you add to the Pi to help support the hat. To install it, just take the plastic screws through the far four corners, then take the standoff and tighten it down. Then repeat for all four corners. At this point, take the hat and line up the connector over the GPIO pins and slide it down. Rocking the connector slightly left and right will help you secure it a bit easier. From here, it's simply a matter of installing all four of the plastic screws at the top of the hat into the plastic standoffs. In terms of the assembly, well, that's all there is to it. One thing to keep in mind is with the Pi 5, you may also want to add a heat sink. From here, I'll connect a keyboard and a mouse, plug in the micro HDMI connector to a monitor, and power to the USB-C port. Now we'll switch over to the software setup. Here we have the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit installed to a micro SD card. I'll open a browser and pull up the PySense documentation. I'll place a direct link in the description below. The documentation covers the various features and functionality of the hat. Further down in the documentation is the install guide. First off, we can enable I2C on the Pi. To do that, we can go to Preferences and Raspberry Pi Configuration, click the Interfaces tab, now select the I2C option and enable it. Then click OK. Now it won't take effect until we reboot. However, before we do that, let's also install all the latest updates in libraries. Click the terminal icon at the top. Then going back to the documentation, let's copy this command to update and perform a full upgrade. You can click the icon to the right to copy the command to the clipboard. Then right click in the terminal, select paste, and press enter. If prompted to continue, Press Y. Once the update completes, we'll install the SenseHat package. Click the Copy button beside that command, and again, right-click in the terminal, select Paste, and press Enter. Great! Everything is installed. Now we can reboot the Pi. You can issue the command sudo reboot in the terminal, 
or go to Logout and select Reboot. Now that everything is installed and up to date, we'll perform a quick calibration of the Sense Hat. Let's go to the documentation and install the calibration software. Click the icon to the right, then right click in the terminal, paste in the commands, and press enter. The code will then be installed and the calibration routine will start up. You can calibrate the magnetometer as well as the accelerometer. Select an option, either M or A. I'll select M for the magnetometer. Read the instructions for an idea of what to do, then press any key to start. Move the Pi and Sense Hat in all directions and the readings will appear on the screen. Once no more readings are changing on screen, press S to save the min-max values. At this point, pressing A will let you calibrate the accelerometer, but you get the idea, so I'll press X to exit, and then I'll type exit to exit the terminal. Now this is where the fun begins. I'll first show a series of Python programs that utilize the main features of the Sense Hat. At the end, I'll show you how you can easily create and modify the same without the need to understand how to code yourself. To start, we'll use a Python development IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, called Thonny. It's pre-installed with PyOS Desktop and may be found under the Programming category. To use Python, the code you create or generate will be pasted here. To run the code, simply click the Run button. Once done, you can press the Stop button, and you can save your programs by clicking the Save button or reload them by clicking Load. That's really all you need to know to get started with Donny. All of the examples that I'll be showing are available in the description below as a zip file. You're more than welcome to download and use them however you wish. You can use them in your own projects and improve on them. Let's start with the first example. This one will simply display some scrolling text across the 8x8 LED matrix so we can get an idea of how to output information on the Sense Hat. I'll click Load and select hello underscore wtt.py. This example imports the sense hat and time libraries, clears the display, defines a message, sets the color to yellow for the text on a black background, and scrolls the text in the message across the display. Let's run it. Nice. We have our message scrolling right to left across the display with yellow text on a black background. Let's move on to a more interesting example. The pressure underscore WTT.py example is pretty cool. It reads the HPA or hectopascal pressure readings from the sense app. The return value can be used to interpret likely weather conditions. Now, I'm no expert on weather conditions, but when I ran it, the value returned was 994.7 HPA. I then stepped outside to see how closely the reading matched the chart. 994.7 falls under unsettled weather, cloudy, rain, or windy. That was spot on to the current weather conditions at the time, and I thought it was pretty interesting. The accelerometer underscore WTT.py example will place a single pixel in the middle of the display. As you move the sense hat, the pixel will fall in the direction that the hat is tilted. This seems to be a good representation of how the display can be utilized to demonstrate this sensor. As I move the Pi, the pixel follows the lowest point of the tilt. If you continue to tilt it, the pixel will return to the opposite side of the screen, indicating the tilt position. This was a fun example to get working, and I hope it will inspire you to explore new uses for this technology. The spin underscore WTT.py example will display R for right or L for left in the direction that the Pi is spun. There are all kinds of uses for a sensor like this. Perhaps a unique virtual joystick, uh, gesture navigation, data logger, anti-theft motion alert, and so many more ideas. I'd like to show you one more example for utilizing the joystick. The joystick underscore WTT.py example places a pixel in the middle of the display. Pressing the joystick in any direction will move the pixel in that direction. 
If it goes off the display, it'll return to the opposite side of the screen. You can also press down on the stick to toggle the color to change from green to red. You could use this project to build a sensor dashboard, a simple dice rolling example where you press down on the joystick and randomly display a virtual dice on the screen, a pixel art creator, and many more. There are several other examples included in the download that I've not shown in this video that you can also explore. Today, you don't have to be an expert with Python to program the Pi Hat. In fact, you can simply load up ChatGPT, type in the idea that you have for the SenseHat program, then copy and paste the code into the Thonny IDE we just used to run it. Yes, it can be that easy. You can then request changes to the code, take any of the examples that you saw here, and customize it exactly how you want it, all without writing any code yourself. I'll place a link below where you can pick up the Pi Sense hat if you don't already have one. And if you do, give it a try. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative, please let me know by clicking the like button. I look forward to talking with you again in the next video.